My name is Eric Stewart. I'm the department chair for the professional photography program at Langara College in Vancouver, BC, Canada. I don't consider myself as a photographer. I consider myself as a photo educator and then a retoucher and then an assistant and then eventually way down the line, I guess I'm a photographer. I'm a photo educator. That's how I describe myself. And I teach such a variety of things. I take on whatever job I can get that I think will uh, help the students in the end. Photography to me is um, technical art. There are lots of photographers who have really great technical skills but no art skills. There's lots of artists who have great art skills but no technical skills. And the beauty of photography for me is the combination of all those technical skills and the artistic input coming together to create something that uses both sides of the left and right brain. Uh, from high school I went to psychology for some bizarre reason which was a bad idea and then I started shooting weddings which was also a bad idea because I had no idea what I was doing and then I decided that uh, I was either going to become a photographer or I was going to become a mountain guide. I was working in an E6 lab in Victoria and a guy came in and I asked him the question. He was a teacher at a school in Victoria for photography and I said I'm having troubles deciding if I should be a photographer or I should be a mountain guide. I'm thinking about going to the school in Victoria and he said no don't do either go to Langara. So that started my photography journey. So when I started in photography at Langara, um, we used 4x5 black and white film for the entire first year. And then we got our access to our first digital camera, which was a Fuji S1. It had three separate batteries. You could take one photograph and then you had to wait for the file to go from the chip onto the card and get written. And then you could take another photograph. It was a horrible, awful camera. And then we got to use medium format, which was sort of the big thing. Uh, medium format, five megapixel, megavision. And then a couple years after I left, the Nikon came out with the D70 and that D70 and the D100 from Nikon started the digital revolution. When I came to the program, um, Catherine and Tomo basically were teaching everything. Eric was a student of mine in the mid 2000s and I remember him quite well because he had a very um, unique uh, vision of photography. Um, he was quite technically minded, so he and I got along very, very well. And I still have a photograph of Eric with his backpack on and him having his Eric card in front. I knew after my psychology degree that grades didn't matter. What really mattered was knowledge. And so I did not care about grades at all when I was a student. I just wanted knowledge. first job I got after graduating was working at the lab, which is a processing lab. I got that job the night of our grad show. Um, I worked there for three months and then it decided that I did not want to spend my life in the dark. I was processing film in the complete darkness for six of the eight hours of work. And I decided that was not for me, so I quit that job and then I, I always knew that I wanted to come back and work at Langara and the guy who ran the cage was going to retire eventually soon and I just kept waiting every year I'd come back and say hi and ask when he was retiring and eventually he retired and I started working in the cage so when I came to work at the cage I still didn't know a few things and um, I watched students struggle with the same projects that I struggled with and then I actually understood after watching three or four students go through those assignments I understood why they were doing those assignments so that was that made me more knowledgeable I don't remember how I started teaching there was one one class came 
came free and they needed an instructor. So I taught one class the first year um, and worked cage part-time. We hired him as a lab tech for the cage where the gear gets signed in and out. Um, and then we got Eric into a little bit of teaching and now Eric is the department chair for photography. And I can remember the very, very first um, super shoot we did. Um, Eric uh, contacted a, a custom motorcycle manufacturer on the island. The manufacturer agreed to, to send out one or two bikes. And these were like fabulous, you know, $100,000 motorcycles. And they were just fabulous works of art. I do want to tell you one story about an IE super shoot. Uh, Eric came to me with a video about this uh, coffee whitener flamethrower. So I built this two inch PVC pipe with a little nozzle at the end of this and we bought a Costco size uh, gallon of coffee whitener. We were trying to make this flamethrower work. So we've got compressed gas over here or compressed air. We've got this cheesy homemade uh, flamethrower that I built and Eric and I, we have this little uh, tiger torch which is gonna be lighting this on fire. And there were a couple of times where uh, we were trying something that's like we didn't get the, the, the pressure high enough or not enough co uh, coffee uh, whitener or too much coffee whitener. And there was one time where uh, I think it was a little too rich and we had this sort of like this little fireball that happened and we go, yeah, I think we're getting close now. So all the, uh, the experimentation uh, is the thing that I really enjoy with Eric because he shares my fascination of mirroring science with um, the artistic side and getting something that's really creative for students to photograph. My wife owns a photography company called Kalem Photo and um, when we met and got married I sort of joined in with her company so I do all of the retouching, all of the assisting and one of the projects that we came up with is Child's Play. Um, it's where we take kids who are usually younger than one, and we put them into situations like rock climbing or cutting trees down. The very first project we did was with my nephew, and we had him um, just bouldering, and my brother just held up against the rock as a bit of a joke, and then I photoshopped my brother's hands out. And then that led to a, a surfing shot, and then we had a client who wanted a portrait of their kid, but also wanted to do um, all their rock climbing stuff with it. So we went to Lighthouse Park and held the kid up against the wall for about an hour in different situations. And then we photoshopped a rope connected to him. Um, and then it looks like he's climbing a cliff. But we posted the experience on the internet and we got complaints from people saying that having children rock climbing was dangerous. So we had to actually post behind the scenes stuff of Katrina holding this kid on a rock. And then we had a kid, I had a kid doing some carpentries, that's sort of the latest project, and I got complaints about that, that that's unsafe. The first year that Canada um, had an entry into the World Photographic Cup, I was asked to be a judge to help with Canada's entry. So I've been doing that for the last three years. They call me a judge, but I'm really an image curator. I helped put together the, the submission for Canada, the World Photographic Cup. So when Eric's judging the World Photographic Cup, um, he still has that background of the technical aspects. He knows what makes a good photograph um, and he's able to effectively communicate that with students. And I think the students um, really appreciate that, that Eric brings a lot of experience um, from IE through his training at Ligera and uh, he does some personal projects where he challenges himself. And I think that really goes a long way for students to identify and respect um, Eric's ability to um, critique an image and give positive feedback. A big contribution that Eric has made is leading the charge with program review for the photography department. And I believe now the program is a much, much stronger program than what it was before. And I'm looking forward to having uh, Eric lead the charge in the coming uh, years on um, keeping the program relevant and current for, uh, for our grads and students. I'll always be a photo educator. I don't see myself leaving the college. My strength lies in, in helping others with their photography. Um, in five years, I would love to have more time to shoot my own. One of the big challenges of being an instructor and not a full-time photographer is is trying to keep up the craft and trying to be better and better in the craft of photography.